Hello viewers, it's Scott with Wright Yachts over in Seattle, Washington. Today I'm in Miami visiting the 2020 Neil 47 Sailing Trimaran by Neil Trimarans built out of La Roche, France. Why choose a trimaran? Well, the width of the trimaran is an important factor for the safety at high seas because it is a guarantee of stability. On a catamaran, the maximum riding moment occurs at 12 degrees of healing. The angle can be reached relatively easy when sailing in strong winds and heavy seas. However, on a trimaran, the maximum riding moment does not occur until 32 degrees of healing. Therefore, in normal multi-hole conditions of use, this angle is never reached. For that reason, and thanks to the centered weight of distribution, a trimaran is much more stable than a catamaran. So let's get into this Neil. This is a new outfitted 2020 with 560 watts of walkable solar panels, equipped with a carbon fiber mast, aluminum boom, Dacron square top main, Genoa and jib, stack pack, synthetic rigging with self tacking jib, and something that I find quite impressive. They took the forestay and they actually ran the forestay through the Genoa, not the jib. What this means is when you are wanting to tack with the Genoa, instead of having to furl in every single time, you just drop the jib onto the deck and be able to do those full sweeps. And much like your model home, there is a bow thruster up forward and a single engine on a balance spade rudder to aft. So maneuverability would be very similar as we do with model home, just for a bit wider of a boat, of course. Helm station has 360 degrees of visibility, a clock bimini top, and a sunbed. All lines are leading one manual and one electric winch, and there's a separate uh, topping lift winch. VNG Electronics package uh, extends down to the chart table. It's forward facing. We'll be down there later. To take a look at that. Compass, bow thruster controls, engine controls. Everything's right here. Good visibility up to the mast as well. Thoughtfulness of this cockpit is nice. It's easy to walk through. Uh, the table can be removed, so you'll have more space for entertaining. And it's all done up with Flexi-Teak, and it marries very well with the interior and exterior of the boat. Now, for you who cruise and need stowage, check this out. This is the basement of the center hull, and this is what I was referring to to center weight distribution. The water tank, the fuel tank, the battery bank. Everything with a lot of weight is sitting very low and at the center line hull. But you also have lots of visibility to all of your fuse, your breakers, your switches. Uh, this is where your washer dryer unit would go, a water maker. Just a tremendous amount of space that is available for gear. Now let's head up over to the main cabin, which is all in one level, sits center line of the boat. The owner's cabin, which will be off to starboard, has a lot of natural light that pours in. It sits above water line, so there isn't a hole to jot down into. You're not going to be listening to lapping water at night or rougher seas. You'll be sitting above it and also natural pour light coming in as well as good cross ventilation. The U-shaped galley faces forward and also very easy to see aft. Really, really good use of space here. A lot of bright light really makes it airy. Large chart table with a large bench seat and a saloon area with an entertainment center uh, with shelves and drawers all around. The center uh, forward cabin is the primary head. It will have a very large shower. It must be about eight feet tall. There is even a dry locker that sits to starboard. You can just barely see some of the hinges. I wish I got, would have got a better shot of that. Now you also have a medicine cabinet style vanity with two opening cabinets and a large deep vanity sink. Uh, and a separate head cabin that is also a electric flush freshwater head. More hanging lockers and shelves. And moving forward is the 12 volt panel with indicator lights for which navigation lights are turned on, as well as your 12 volt panel, fusion stereo sound system, and the breakers. Now, here's one of the finest guest cabins you're gonna find on a multi hole under 50 feet. This one actually even has its own entryway, very similar to maybe what your model hole did. Double berth storage underneath, plenty of space on board the boat, and quite comfortable as well. Uh, enough room for two people, hatch that opens up for cross ventilating air, switches, reading lights, 110 outlet, 12 volt fan. Yeah, there is an escape hatch that is equipped on this boat. 
uh, one in each armor, hanging closet, as well as shelf space. And one thing I find to be quite impressive is the use of how they constructed the head cabin. Now, right from the get-go, it's sitting right below the companionway. So if it's raining or if you have wet clothes, the first room you go into is the head cabin with the sun floor. The toilet pivots right out, sits in a place. It's a electric flush, fresh water head, and when you don't need it anymore, you just close the lid, pull the pin, set it back away, and drop the curtain. option is to have the forward cabins finished as single berths. Neil did not have them finished on this particular build, but I wanted to show you what those cabin spaces look like. Now this boat is for sale right now and it is available for sailing over on the East Coast. So for an opportunity or for more information, reach out to us at rightyachtsales.com.